Hey everyone, I am here with a partial playthrough of Cosmic Run Regeneration and I just wanted to show you quickly how um, one would get set up to play this game and how to play a solo, of course. So on the bottom left, um, you'll see that um, it's a little blocked, but uh, just showing you here real quick, we do have a ship that will progress up the number six planet which is the yellow track. Um, so uh, that's where I'll be, and I'll be pretty descriptive. If I do move up here, you'll start seeing it around here. Anyway, um, so we start on the 10 point track. We have the alien cards here in the, in the deck, and then we have three cards that's face up and available for us to acquire. And then we have the meteor cards, which will place meteor um, tokens on each of these planets as they appear. And um, yeah, and then we also have some, some points involved, um, some victory points with these tokens. And so we will need to um, land on them exactly to collect them. Otherwise, if we pass them, then we actually don't get those victory points. We could also, once we acquire any of these aliens, whether or not we use them, we can only acquire up to three. And at any time, we are able to um, trade them in to get victory points. And so that's what these check marks are for. In a solo game, you'll acquire the points if you trade in two of the same kind of alien. You start and get four victory points. The next time you trade in two aliens, you get five victory points. Um, and so these kind of just cover up just so you can uh, see your progression and track the scores that way. And then um, as we progress up the track, we will eventually discover that planet. And once that happens, you score according to how many meteors has hit it. If no meteors has hit it, you'll get 15 points in the two track and the second planet. And then if one meteor has hit, you'll get the 10. If two meteor, six. Um, and if a third meteor hits, obviously you actually lose the game. So um, if any of these planets get destroyed by a third meteor, um, the game immediately does end. So let's get started here. I do have this card off screen and this allows you to spend crystals and you gain crystals by assigning a die here and you gain one crystal per die that you assign here. So um, essentially I would say no die gets wasted um, we will be rolling uh, five white and one yellow by default, and then if we do happen to get a card that gives us an extra die roll, we'll be using the red one. So it will only be for that roll if we do. And then we get to re-roll a die um, um, every time. We get to re-roll all the remaining dice once we place one, except if we were to place the yellow die onto a yellow planet, then the, the turn immediately goes to the next step, which is scoring. Um, which is, I think, no, no, it's, 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 it's getting actions, um, completing actions. Okay, so we'll start the game here, and we'll buy, we'll reveal the deck there. So you'll follow the instructions in the manual that tell you how to um, build the Meteor deck, because there are specific instructions. We're using the easy mode with three misses, so we'll, we'll include that in there, and then we will begin. So it says four, five, and six. So when it says four, you look at the fourth planet. If it is not discovered by me, which is not, um, we put a meteor on it. And you'll notice these tokens are double-sided. So the f one side has one, the other side has two. And then if it gets hit by a third one, you don't need a token because you're dead and the game's over. So one, one meteor has hit the fourth planet. All right. So we'll start. So we have a bunch of dice here. Um, we've got two sixes, a one, a five, and two fours. So we'll want to think about how we want to um, assign the dice. Again, if we assign the yellow one to the yellow planet at any time, then the this step immediately ends, the assigned dice step. Um, so to get planet one, we'll want to put a die that has just one pip on it. And if we had another die, we can assign as many as we want. Um, I think I'm going to save that and try to take care of um, the four. So it's taking a chance, but because it already has a comet there, I'm concerned that if it happens to get two more hits um, throughout this game, then we will lose. So let's let's go with that, and then we'll re-roll the rest of the four di dice. 
and hoping for two more sixes at least in each roll. So we didn't get any of those sixes that we were looking for. Um, but let's see. I want to... Um, so the aliens, I could also place dice to get them. Um, and so I will place a one on this to acquire that alien. We don't do anything yet until we finish assigning the dice and then we have the chance to reroll now. After replacing at least one die, we always get to reroll. And then we have these three. So you know, I'm gonna just keep these and unfortunately lose out on these two sixes. So I'm done with assigning dice. I'll grab the alien. I'll put it, it's gonna be um, off screen. And then we flip a new one. This one means we get to go up one track because we did one set of three of a kind which is um, the, what is notated there. Unfortunately these two dice are wasted. Um, they don't do anything for us. Now it's the second turn. So we will flip number six planet. We'll get one meteor hit. Alright so now we roll the die. The dice. And we've got a four. Okay so interesting. So maybe I'll use the the ones. Now place them on planet one so I can move up two on the track. And then two, three, four, five. I think I'll re roll and see what I get. Okay. Um, so we don't have anything exciting. I could just add one more here and then keep rolling. Again, as long as I assign a die. I can re-roll what's left. I could put this here and then re-roll these two. And yes, this is a yellow, but it only um, means I end my turn if the yellow was on this planet, assigned to this, this planet. All right, so we got a three and six. Um, I think I'll take the chance and put the six. Now I'll put the six here. And now you know what, I'll put, I take that back. I'll put the three here. And hope for another three, and then I'll re-roll this final dice. Oh, and I got the three. All right, so we've we've got one, two, three, four, four, one pips. So that means this happens four times. One, two, three, four. Awesome. So that's complete. We've got one pair for planet two. So that means it increase it, it proceeds up once once, and then I think that's all I've got there. See about the next meteor. It's number five. One meteor hit. And then we'll roll. And we've got two ones, two fours. So we could continue going up the two track. And then if we do it twice, we'll land on this um, token, which gives us some VP. And VPs are important because you can spend five VP and protect one planet any one that you want or you could spend 10 VP and protect all your planets so that's that's the importance of this there's, there's really no like point system here you either win or you lose so you win by discovering all six planets or you lose by having at least one of your planets being destroyed so there's that I'm gonna re-roll I think both of these okay we got a three and a five um, I'll Three and a five. I think I'll place one on my card. This is what I mean when I say card. So I could gain one. And then I'll re-roll this. And it's a five. And it's not very helpful at all. But I have this grand turn. So this means I can make this one less, which is a four. And I'll place this on one of the aliens. And this will be flipped face down like this. And I'll go through my actions. So there's two pairs, so I get to do this twice. One, two. So now I get this token. Let's see what it says. Three. So I get one, two, three victory points. And then we'll grab this alien. And then we'll flip. And then with this one die that's on my tech card, um, I get to gain one crystal. So I'll grab that here. And I have one crystal in my possession. All right, so now I will see what's going on. We're looking at number two now. So number two has a meteor. We get to roll. And 
pretty good, I guess. Um, we have two pairs, which I think we'll finish that off. Planet 2 we'll try to discover, and then we'll re-roll these two. Um, six, I mean, a four and a two. So the four I could assign here. Now get that alien. And the two, I think I'll just re-roll. And it's a three. So I'll just place it on my tech and get a crystal. These are two, so one, two. And then this alien I will grab. And... That is it for that turn. So let's see what happens next. Okay, so this means there's no number on this card. So that means it does not um, attack any anything at this moment. So we can continue with our turn and roll. And I think I will keep this, try to keep all of this if possible. So I'll take a pair and then that means I will actually discover this planet. And then I'll place these two, and then this number six here, and then this one here. Um, so if we swap the order, because once I put this here, the, the game ends, I'll place this on the, the alien, place these two numbers that are not equal, and then this yellow six. So the way this one works is um, you'll, s you'll move up the tracks the number of pips on the yellow die so it's one two three four five six and then as many that you have um, white dice you move up as well so one two so unfortunately I didn't land on this token so I will just put them back into the supply and that is going up track six and then track two I have acquired this planet now so if a two were to show up on this card the meteor cards it will not be attacked. I'll go down to the second number that's listed. All right, and then I'll grab this alien. And right now I've got three active aliens, so I'll have to do something about these. I'll have to start using them, um, which I could use right away. Um, so let's see what's the next one. It's another miss, so that's good. I'm gonna flip these over. Um, flipping over means I've used them. So I'll flip these over and get the two um, tokens and see what points I get. So one, two, I got one and one. So two victory points, I'm at 15. And then I think I'll trade these two cards in and get four victory points because they're the same, they're the same color. Um, so we'll get one, two, three, four, 19 victory points right now. All right, and then we'll go for the roll. Okay, I will, hmm, one, two, three, four, I need four to finish planet one. Um, maybe I'll just go for planet five. And hopefully we get two more ones. So let's reroll. Ooh, we got the fourth one. Now we just need one more. One more one. And we got it. All right, so we got one set of five ones and then we got this five which I could re-roll and got another five so I'll just put it on my um, tech card gain a crystal and then this one set means I get to go up this track once and then let's see I will flip and it's gonna hit planet three okay we'll roll and then let's see we got two fives hmm. and a six. Two fours. So I do have this grand turn that I can make into a five. So I think I will put. No, I'll use these two fours and I'll create another four by using this card and this three and change this to a four. Flip this over. And then I'm going to re-roll, I think. Or no, maybe I won't re-roll. I'll use these two white dice and then the five. So over here, I will move up one. 
over here, I'll move five. One, two, three, four, five. Again, I won't grab this token because I didn't land directly on it, and I move an additional two for each white die I have, regardless of how many pips is on it. One, two. Okay. So that's that. I think I'll spend one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to protect all my planets because I don't want any to have two meteors. So four. So this would have had two meteor hits, but because I spent ten VPs to protect all my planets with a force field, um, and I, I don't get it. So I will roll for my turn, and then we've got um. I'm going to try to get some aliens to help me out. So I'll place the four here. And this one will let me re-roll three. And then I'll re-roll the rest and see what happens. Okay, so we got two threes, a five, one, one. So I can, let's see. Maybe I'll take the chance of putting the two threes here and re-rolling, hoping for one more three. Don't have it. Um, let's see. So I'll put the one here, and then I'll give me a chance to re-roll these two, hoping for a three. I got a three. Perfect. And then we have a two. So let me re-roll this, and it's another three. Gosh, if only I had it here, then I would have gotten that one. That's okay. I'll put the three on my tech card and I gain a crystal. And then I'll move up one spot right onto this token, which gives me two VPs. One, two. And then we'll have this one pip move up one as well. And then we'll grab this alien. And flip this over. Okay. So right now I've got four crystals. Four crystals can give me... Um, um, I could flip flip a, a die to the other side, and then, yeah, I don't know if I will do that. I think I want to wait for the five, which lets me, um, one, two, three, four, um, five, yeah, that could let me get another additional, um, die roll. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, we'll flip this, and then it's a number six, so now this has two meteors and we'll get to roll and this will be my last turn for this playthrough all right so we have one 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 and then i will also do two two no i'll, I'll re-roll and hope for an additional one. Oh, i got two additional ones so these will be here. And I'll re-roll this one one more. It's a four. Um, I'll just use this, although it lets me re-roll three. I'll just re-roll this one. And I got a two. Alright. So the two can go nowhere. I'll put it on my tech card, gain a crystal. So I've got five. And then that's it. I will move up one on this planet. And then spend these two, move up two. I don't get this one. I don't get this token because I didn't land on it. And then that is my turn. Um, so I hope you were able to get the gist of it. Um, my dinner just got delivered, so I, I do have to go. But um, maybe I'll make a longer playthrough if there's interest. Um, this is a, a fun one to play, so happy to do it. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks.